Hey folks, welcome to the fifth episode of JavaScript Oops under the hood. And in this video, we are going to use the class keyword, the constructors uh, to achieve this solution. And we are also going to understand how is that constructor and class thing working. So let's look at the example. So we are creating a class named as great customer. And in the construction constructor function, we are passing the parameters name, account balance, and branch, and signing this dot name, this dot balance, this dot branch, the prop uh, to the uh, params. And we have uh, also uh, declared two functions that is add money and switch balance. And on the 9th or uh, 15th, we are calling the create customer class with the new keyword. And we have passed the arguments Alex 100 and XT. Okay, so uh, I think uh, in, in the if we look at the previous example, the most of the part is very similar. If we look at the uh, constructor function, this is the body of that constructor function is very much similar to that of the function of the create customer uh, in the previous example, and we all we can also see that uh, the constructor function is accepting all the same parameters even the nature of calling the create customer function is very much is exactly the same that we did in the previous example and you can see this is and we are able to call add money and fetch balance exactly the same way we did so let's have a look how this whole thing uh, looks under the hood and start exploring so uh, we had already uh, explored how the previous code snippet was working and we saw everything like create customer function object uh, bundle and the execution context and everything so uh, javascript uh, does nothing it just labels the uh, function and object part of the create customer of the previous example as a class so this whole thing become is wrapped under a label as class as we can see we are defining class create customer so this javascript automatically creates a function uh, uh for us and it automate automatically creates an object for us where in the function part it uh stores it stores the uh constructor so this function is labeled as constructor and this part is what we can see on line 7 and line 10 that is add money and fetch balance the moment we add functions uh in the class uh in, inside the class uh this the javascript adds this function automatically inside the prototype of this uh whole bundle so add money and fetch, fetch balance are added in the prototype of create customer and the constructor is uh, declared as a function so the moment we call create customer with new keyword in in the execution context this uh, same thing happens which we have done in the previous episode the new keyword creates uh, an empty object uh, this and the parameters are assigned to the this object with name being alex uh, account balance 100 branch xyz and this uh, the javascript automatically returns this new uh, returns this uh, this keyword to the uh, customer one of const variable and with the proto linking to the prototype of create customer this is exactly what happens uh, when we use this uh, class syntax uh, and all of this bunch stuff happens behind the scenes so there's nothing new it's just uh, like javascript wants us to create our codes uh, or write our codes in a very neat and clean manner and as you can see the code is not very messy as we had seen in the previous episode like we had to manually set the protos and call the new keyword function and all but javascript is now uh helping us to automate things and write clean stuff so uh, this is exactly uh, 
of the class and constructor works and i hope uh, you understand the whole purpose of this series now and this the series uh, might have helped you understand how the basic uh, class and constructor uh, are working under the hood and uh, what are the steps uh, we took to improve our uh, code and achieve to this solution so uh, in the next part we will be seeing uh, the uh, inheritance property like how the extend uh, is working in javascript and again uh, we will be implementing inheritance in all of the examples we have seen before uh, in the approach one two three and we will also see how this uh, uh, extend is working uh, in this constructor in class uh, wrapper so this was all in this video and see you in the next one